up everybody it's your boy noble defeat coming at you guys for yet another video and before we start off this one right here guys make sure to enter the brand new giveaway that i'm going to be starting with this series guys i'm going to be giving away a 2019 promotional mystery box every single video of this series guys so make sure to tune in and let's hop right into the video all right everybody so welcome to episode one of a beginner's guide for new players on gondor 2.0 here guys so in this episode we are going to be covering the dps zone guys so if you guys don't know what the dps zone is i'll kind of give you a quick rundown right now so as you guys can tell i am at home and to get to the dps zone guys you just go ahead and you run directly south of where you spawn and as you can see it will be your first thing right here to your right guys so this right here is the dps zone and the dps zone as i will show you guys real quick here we go we'll go and we will teleport into dps zone number one guys so long story short guys the dps zone is a zone where you can go and you kill certain mobs right and depending on each zone, so zone number one, you guys need 500 kills, and then you can buy a ticket in the shop, which will advance you to DPS zone two. And as you slowly progress through these DPS zones, guys, you can get better and better loot. So here, I will just show you guys real quick. This is the first one. The first one only having 5,000 health, I believe, which is not that much health, guys. But let me just show you what they can drop real quick. 5,000 health not being too many, but they do drop full Dark Predator, guys. They do drop one build coins, and they don't have any rare drops right now. But for brand new players, guys, these are items that are very, very useful. We'll go ahead and head home, guys. So, after DPS Zone 1, right, we'll go ahead and we will run back to the DPS Zone. And real quick, I will just run through the shops for you guys. So, as you can see what I was talking about earlier... You guys saw that I was talking about you need 500 kills. So basically each point or each kill that you get in this DPS zone counts as a credit basically. So to buy the DPS entry zone 2, you need 500 kills or 500 credits to buy this zone 2 entry. Or of course you can spend it on any of the armors or other items in the shop. And then we'll go into number 2 here guys. Number 2 already you can see there's a drastic upgrade. The Mario head and the Mario Jr. pet, which are also drop rate pets. Not only that, you can get boss boxes, guys, which are just absolutely insane. So number three, you begin to get void. And void, of course, on the server is super good. You can also get a drop rate arrow, guys. And then you can start upgrading into the ruby items. Me, right now, I am currently on DPS zone three. So the way that it goes is it doubles... Okay, I just realized that I've been playing an ad on Spotify this whole time, boys. Hold up. I'll be right back. All right, boys. So, frick the Spotify ads, dude. All right, we're past that. All right, so, like I was saying, guys, the way that the kills kind of work for DPS Zone is you start at 500 on DPS Zone 1, and then every single time you go onto a new one to buy the entry ticket for the next zone, guys, it's going to be doubled. So say the DPS zone, you start with 500 to get you to 2, and then to get you from 2 to 3, you need 1,000, and then to get you from 3 to 4, you need 2,000, and then so on and so forth, all the way up to DPS zone 6. But guys, the whole draw, as you guys can see right here, is DPS zone 4, guys. DPS zone 4 is where you start getting all these crazy boxes. So in this zone, guys... You can buy ultimate donor boxes, you can buy cloud boxes, and you can buy Seth boxes and Link boxes. Link boxes give you Link parts and the Link Buster Sword. The Seth boxes obviously get you Seth legs, Seth body, or the Seth Mesa, or the gloves. The cloud box gets you the cloud gear, and the ultimate donator box can honestly get you any crazy thing into the in the server. Honestly, you can get an owner cape out of here, you can get godly items, I believe. It really is the way to go, guys. So if you're a new player and you're looking for something to do and something to grind out, guys, I really do recommend the DPS zones. But real quick, let me just show you guys the ultimate item of why we do the grind for DPS zone, guys. This is the DPS Master Blade, guys. And this sword right here gives you a 2.5 times damage multiplier on your damage. So if you guys have the time and have the will 
to freaking sit here and grind out all of these kills, guys. Make sure to visit the DPS zone. And I appreciate you guys for watching the first episode of a beginner's guide to new players on Gondor 2.0, guys. We will be having a ton, a ton more episodes coming out where we will cover all of the cool, amazing things on Gondor that you guys can do to upgrade as a new player. And like I said, guys, make sure to enter into this 2019 promo box mystery giveaway that I'm going on. Leave those IGNs, hit those sub buttons, guys, hit those like buttons, and it's been your boy Noble Defeat, and you know I will see you guys next video.